salutations and welcome to the farm and welcome back to my 1902 farmhouse craft room. Today we're going to be working on our heirloom Afghan crochet along and we're working on week 37 the popcorn braid square. Look at how pretty this is. We've got our popcorns, we've got braids, it's done in this beautiful beautiful teal color. This is going to be a great block to add to our crochet along afghan. So grab your supplies and let's get started. So for this block we're going to be using our size H crochet hook and whatever color you've determined to be color C for your afghan. We're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot leaving yourself a nice long tail to sew in later. Getting our yarn on our hook we're going to chain 27 loosely. One, two, three, four, five, six, 25, 26, and 27. Now let's go ahead and we're gonna move on to row one. We're going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook and in the next eight chains after that. So not counting the loop that's on our hook, counting over one, two, three, four, we're going to place a double crochet in that fourth chain from our hook right here. And in each of the next eight chains across as well. So here we go, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Right here in this first row is we're going to set up the foundation for our popcorn braid. So now that we've completed eight, we're going to chain one, skip a chain, and place a double crochet in the chain after that. And we're going to do that three times so that we'll end up with three of these chain one spaces. So chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. One more time, chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next. There we go. And we're gonna place a double crochet in each chain till we get to the end and I'll meet up with you there. And there's our very last double crochet of the row. Let's take our hook out and take a look at row one for our block here and discuss it because counting for this block is going to be really important for you. When we're done with row one, we want 25 stitches and these chains in between the double crochets count as a stitch. These chains that we skipped when we first started this row, this counts as a double crochet. It counts as a stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That is exactly what we want for row one. Hey, are you enjoying putting together all of the beautiful heirloom sampler blocks for our heirloom Afghan crochet along? If so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, check out the playlist that has all of the videos for every block for our crochet along, and be sure to share the video with your friends that like to crochet. Okay, let's get back to our project for this week. Row two, we're going to be introducing some popcorn stitches. If you're right-handed, you're going to complete your 
popcorn stitch one way. If you're left-handed, you're gonna complete your popcorn stitch a second way. I'm gonna show you the two different ways that I want you to complete your popcorn stitches. So having said that, let's move on to row two. We're going to chain one and turn, and we're gonna single crochet in the first of the next 10 stitches. So make sure you get this very first one right here. 10 single crochets, here we go. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You know, block 37 with our popcorn stitch is very unique depending on whether you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm going to give you a little extra added tutorial right here in the middle of our block. And if you're right-handed, you will complete your popcorn stitches one particular way that I show you. If you're left-handed, you'll complete them the other way that I show you. Keep that in mind throughout the rest of the pattern. So let's get started. To make a popcorn stitch, we're going to be working in these chain one spaces. Whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it starts out the same, and that is five double crochet in this chain one space. So let's get that done. Let's get those five in here. Here's one, here's two, three, four, and five double crochet in our chain one space. Okay, here's where things get tricky. This is where I want you to pay attention. If you are a right-handed crocheter, you are going to go to the very first double crochet that we made here. I like to count back five Vs. So here's one, two, three, four, five. You're going to place your hook into the top of that stitch, one, two, three, four, five, right here, from the front to the back, making sure you get both a front loop and a back loop. Then you're gonna go from behind here and you're gonna put that loop back on your hook, okay? And you're gonna pull that loop through the stitch and then chain one. This makes your popcorn. This will make sure as a right-hander that your popcorn will always face out on the correct side of your work. However, if you're a left-hander, it's gonna be on the wrong side of your work and things are gonna be very confusing. So I'm gonna take this back out and we're gonna go right back to where we left off with our five double crochet right here. We've taken our hook off of our loop and instead of entering this fifth V from the front, we're going to enter from the back of our stitch, from the back of our work, grabbing that loop that we had on our hook and pulling it through as a slip stitch, pulling it tight, give it a little tug there, and completing our chain one. There's our popcorn stitch. It's gonna be one, during this row, it'll be on the back, but truly this is the front of our work because we're left-handed. So I want you to keep these in mind because regardless of whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you may see me do it a certain way in the video. Just remember, come back to this portion of the video. I will try to timestamp it to remember, are you supposed to make your popcorns from the front of your work or from the back of your work? So regardless of how you see me completing them in the tutorial, make sure you come back to this little added tip and work them the way that works best for you, whether you're right-handed or left-handed. Referring back to the tutorial, whether you're right-handed or left-handed will determine whether you enter the stitch from the front or the back. I'm gonna enter it from the back, because I'm naturally left-handed. Get that loop back on our hook, pulling it through for a slip, completing a chain one, and that closes off our popcorn stitch. Going to the next double crochet here from row one, we're gonna complete a single crochet in that double crochet there. Make sure you get both the front loop and the back loop so they don't pull. Complete your single crochet. We have two more chain one spaces. We're not placing a popcorn in the next one. We're just gonna place a single crochet there. 
in that chain one space and a single crochet in the next double crochet. And here we are at our next chain one space. We're going to complete another popcorn stitch. So this is five double crochet. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Remove your hook. Now remember, if you're right-handed, you're doing it one way. If you're left-handed, you're doing it another way. I'm left-handed. I'm going to count back five. One, two, three, four, five V's. I'm going to enter from the back, get that loop back on my hook, and pull it through as a slip stitch. Chain one. That closes off my popcorn. And now I'm going to go to this double crochet right here and complete a single crochet. That brings our work back down to the level where we were working, and that makes our popcorns pop. Look how pretty those are. Now we're going to complete single crochets all the way to the end of the row. There will be 10 total, so count this one as one. When you get to the end, make sure that you place a single crochet right here in this chain that you turned. And so we will have 10 total. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here we are to that chain. Just going to go right into that chain there and complete a single crochet for ten. And that completes our row two, and here we've got two popcorns sticking out. And as they, as you work your piece, they'll, they'll kind of like form into shape. They're just perfectly fine. All right, let's move on to row three. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and turn our work. We're going to complete a double crochet in each of the next five single crochet from the last row. Not here. This is our first single crochet. This chain three that we did, this counts as a double crochet. So this stitch already has a double crochet. So we're going to work a double crochet in the next five. So that means we move over here to start our first one here. So here's one double crochet, two double crochet, three double crochet, four double crochet, and five double crochet. There we go. This is where we're going to start introducing the braid portion of our work. We're going to start our braid, but we need to know exactly where we are all the way down here in row one. Since this chain three counts as a double crochet and we added five, we know that we've already come over six. Our next stitch needs to be in the double crochet below the next single crochet right here. But the way that lays, it's kind of in between two stitches. You might not know which one it is. Come down here to row one and count over six, remembering that these turnings ones right here, these ones that we skipped, this counts as a double crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to be working front post double crochets around the next double crochet right here. And if you recall from earlier videos, when you work the stitch of a front post or a back post stitch, you go around the entire stitch. We're not working in the stitch. We're working around it. So our next stitch is going to be around this stitch that we've indicated right here. So I'm going to remove my hook and keep an eye on where that stitch is. Get my hook back on my work where it needs to be. And we're working around this post right here for a front post double crochet. So we're skipping this single crochet and we're working around this double crochet. They don't exactly line up together. That's why I count over. So let's complete this front post double crochet. Yarn over, entering from the front and poking your hook through to the back. Going behind the post of that stitch and poking your hook back up through the front you now have captured the post of that stitch. We're going to yarn our yarn over and pull it back through that post. 
so that we have three loops in our hook. Now we don't want this to stay down here. We need this work to be back up here at this level where we're working on this row up here. So just give it a little tug, just a little tug to kind of bring this work back up to the level where you're working. If you don't do that, you're gonna get a lot of puckers in your work and your work's not gonna look right. Now we skipped this single crochet right here, right? We've worked in front of it. We don't need to work in that stitch. We're gonna to go to the next stitch, the next single crochet there, and we're gonna complete a double crochet back on the level where we were working before. We wanna do that again. So here's our front post. We're gonna skip this one. We're gonna to go to this one here. We're gonna do another front post. This is our braid. Grabbing our yarn and pulling it through around that entire post. Remember to give it a nice tug. Whoops. And complete, it's, it takes a little bit of coordination there. I don't always have it. And we're gonna work our post way up there. We're going to the next stitch and completing a double crochet. We're right before our popcorn. So let's look at what we've got here. In this row of double crochets that we're working on with these front post double crochets, we're creating braids as this works up, we'll be interlocking now. In the, in the next time we work a row like this, we'll be working around this post of this front post, okay? They'll pop out real easy so you can, you can access those very easily once we get working farther up on our block. But for now, let's complete this row three here. We're going to chain one. We need to make our spaces now, okay? Our three spaces that we had down here, we're gonna make here as well. We're going to skip over this popcorn and we're going to go to the first single crochet right here and place a double crochet. That creates our first chain one space. So we can do popcorns later. I'm going to chain one. We're going to skip a single crochet and place a double crochet. Okay, right before our popcorn. Chain one. Skip our popcorn and complete a double crochet in the very first single crochet after our popcorn. Okay, and that creates our three chain one spaces for future popcorns that we're going to be working. Now, since we have a braid immediately before our popcorns, we need to have a braid immediately after our popcorns. So we're gonna look at the fact that our double crochet is right above this double crochet here. We're gonna to go to the next double crochet and we're gonna work a front post double crochet around the post of that double crochet from row one, completing that there, okay? We're gonna skip a double crochet in the next, right there, okay? So since we worked on top of this one, we're gonna go to our next Single crochet and work right below it. Right here is our double crochet from row one. Yarn over. We're gonna work a front post, double crochet around that stitch. Gonna work over the stitch that we skipped and then work all the way across. We should have six double crochet now. So before we started our braid, we had six double crochets. Remember counting this chain that we did here, this counts as one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, then we started our braid. Well, we've just finished our braid here, so, so we should have six going back. So let's count them as we go. Here's one, two, three, four, Five, and right here at the very end is six. All right, let's really look at this row. We've got our two popcorns from row two, and then in row three, we started working our braids, keeping in mind that when we work our braid, our front post, we skip that single crochet that we worked in front of. If you ever find that your counts are off, make sure that you allowed yourself that skip for those braids. Okay, and as I said, as we work this, the popcorns will really stand out and really start making this beautiful. One, two, three, let's move on to row four, which is still different yet from anything we've done. We're going to chain one and turn our work. 
and we're going to single crochet in the first 10 stitches across. Make sure you get that first one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That should take you right to your first chain one space. We're going to work popcorns again, but they're going to stagger. So we're not going to work a popcorn in this very first chain one space. We're going to place a single crochet in the chain one space and a single crochet in the next double crochet. There we go. In this middle chain one space, we're going to work a popcorn. So again, our popcorn is five double crochet. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, now remember as per our earlier tutorial, if you're right-handed, you're going to enter your stitch from the front to the back. If you're left-handed, you're going to enter your stitch from the back to the front. We're going to count over five stitches. I like to count the V's. One, two, three, four, five. Since I'm naturally a left-hander, I'm going to enter from the back. Grab that loop and pull it tight on my hook. Pull it through to complete a slip stitch. Chain one to lock our popcorn in place. Then we're going to go right here and we're going to complete a single crochet in it to make our popcorn pop. Okay, we'll look at that in just a second. Here we're in our last chain one space. We're not working a popcorn there, so we're just going to place a single crochet there. And single crochets the rest of the way across. No front posts, nothing, just our single crochets and our one popcorn. And as you get to the end of your row, remember that this chain up three right here counts as a stitch, so make sure you place a single crochet in that to complete your row. Let's move on to row five. We're going to chain three and turn, one, two, three, and turn and our This work. is going to be another row where we work on our braids. So we're going to double crochet in each of the next five stitches. Remember this one counts as a double crochet, so it's already worked in our first stitch. We're going to move to the next stitch. We're going to complete five. So here's one, two, three, four, oops, and five. Gives us a total of six because this chain counts as a double crochet. Now we want to complete a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet from this row down here. This is much easier determining where our braids go now. So we're going to do a front post around this front post. So yarn over, Go under that front post, grabbing our yarn and pulling it back through so that we have three loops in our hook. Give that a nice little tug to bring it up a little bit. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. We're going to skip over that stitch. Remember this lays on top of that stitch. If you work in the stitch, you're gonna end up with too many stitches in your work's gonna be cattywampus. That lays over that stitch. We're gonna complete a double crochet in the next stitch right there. And we need a braid here. So yarn over, completing a front post, double crochet around that braid. Give your yarn a little tug there and bring it up to your level where you need to work and complete that front post double crochet. Then we need one more double crochet on top of the double crochet here, okay? So there that completes our braid. Now we need to create our chain spaces again. So we're gonna chain one, we're going to skip this single crochet and place a double crochet in this single crochet, which is right before our popcorn. 
right there, making sure you go through the front loop and the back loop. That creates our first chain one space. We're going to chain one. I'm going to skip over our popcorn and go to the very first single crochet after our popcorn and complete a double crochet. That creates our second chain one space. Chain one. We're going to skip one and place a double crochet in the next one. There we go. So now that we've completed our chain spaces, we're going to go right into our braids. So we're going to yarn over and go down here to this braid and front post around it, pulling our yarn up so it's even with our level of work where we're working. There's one front post double crochet. I'm going to skip that one right there. Remember, we just kind of, our work lays on top of it, so don't place a stitch in there. We're going to go to this next one and complete a double crochet. And we've got this braid down here that we need to connect with. So we're going to do a front post around this braid right there. Remembering to go over the one we skipped and place a double crochet in the next stitch. So since we started with six on this side, we're going to make sure we finish off with six on this side. We've just completed our braids. There's one. two, three, four, five, and right here at the very end, our last one is six double crochet across. And let's take a look now at our block. We've got three popcorns, but they're offset now. So our popcorns are going to be offset as they go up through the center of our block. And then we've got our sets of braids on either side of our popcorn. This is going to be a lovely, lovely We're blanket. not quite done putting our first sequence of rows together yet. So let's move on now to row six. Chain one and turn. And we're going to complete a single crochet in the first ten stitches. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And this brings us right to our chain one spaces. We're going to complete a popcorn in our first chain one space. So that's five double crochet. So here we go. Here's one, two, three, four, and five. Now remember, if you're right-handed, you're going to go in from the front. If you're left-handed, you're going to go into that first stitch from the back. Put that loop back on your hook and pull it through. Chain one to lock it into place. We're going to place a single crochet right there in that double crochet to finish off our popcorn and bring it down to the level we're working on so it really pops. We're not placing a popcorn in this center chain one space. We're just going to go ahead and single crochet there and single crochet in the next double crochet there. We're here to our last chain one space. We're going to create a popcorn here. So double crochet five into that chain one space. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Counting over five of the V's. One, two, three, four, five. If you're right-handed, enter from the front. If you're left-handed, enter from the back side of your stitch there, put your loop back on your hook, pull it taut, pull that through for a slip knot, slip stitch, I'm sorry, chain one, and that locks your popcorn in place. Going right here to this very first single crochet. This one here counts as one. We should have ten by the time we get to the end. So here's two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That completes row six. Let's take a look at it here. So here we've got our popcorns are really starting to take shape and you can see our braids coming together. We have one more row to complete in our repeat and then I will set you up to complete the rest of your block. So let's move on to row seven. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to turn our work. We're going to double crochet in each of the next five stitches, not the first one, the next one. So here we go. We've got one, two, three, four, and five. So keep in mind that this chain up three counts as a stitch. So in essence we have six double crochet right there. Skipping this one and coming down and working our braid we're going to do a front post. Double crochet around that braid. Make sure you tug to give yourself that extra room. Working past the one we skipped completing a double crochet in the next single crochet right there. We're going to work the next part of our braid so front post double crochet right there give it a tug and bring your work up to your level of the row you're on and we need to do one more double crochet before we get to our popcorn right there now we're going to create our chain one spaces so we've got our double crochet here we're going to chain one skip over our popcorn and place a double crochet right here in the very first single crochet chain one Skip the next single crochet, go to the next single crochet after that, and complete a double crochet that creates our second chain one space. Chain one, skipping over our popcorn and going to our first single crochet right here, right after the popcorn, and placing a double crochet. And that creates our chain three spaces. We're going immediately right into our braid. So we're going to yarn over, front post around that braid, pull it up to our level, our dog, my dog's making noises, I apologize, and completing that double crochet. Make sure you don't go into that one that you skipped. Go into the very next stitch, complete a double crochet. We've got a braid here we need to work on, so doing a front post double crochet around that braid. Complete that stitch. Make sure you don't work into this stitch here. Go to the next stitch and place a double crochet. And we're going to work to the end of our row. We should have six. There's one, two, three, four. five and six look at this we made it so this is the end of row seven let's take a look at, look at our work here now you can see even though i'm doing these loose you can see where they're kind of puckering and pulling as your block comes together these stitches are going to kind of get into place and so you won't have to worry about that plus once you get your border on and get this added to your afghan you won't have a problem so now what we need to do is we're going to repeat rows four five six and seven until our block is the size that we need it for our heirloom afghan i'm anticipating that i'm going to have to repeat those rows two more times so rows four through seven will go here and then rows four through seven will go here and i should end up with a seven inch block i'm hoping i'm going to go ahead and complete rows four through seven until my block is the size that I need it and I'll meet back up with you and then we'll discuss our final steps for putting our block together. Hey, are you enjoying putting together all of the beautiful heirloom sampler blocks for our heirloom Afghan crochet along? If so, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up 
check out the playlist that has all of the videos for every block for our crochet along and be sure to share the video with your friends that like to crochet. Okay, let's get back to our project for this week. And six. Now I haven't quite completed rows four through seven twice. I've done it one and a half times. Let's take a look at our block here. Now here ended row seven right here. So I haven't quite completed it two more times. That would put me way up here. I did it one and a half times of a repeat. And I think our block is about where we need it to be. Once we get the edging on and once we get this attached to our afghan, it is going to straighten out. You can block it if you want to. But here we have our popcorns. Look how pretty they are as they go back and forth. And then we have our braids. Let's take a block from earlier and measure up and see where we are size wise here we've got a block from earlier that i don't have the edging on yet we'll just set this one right on top of here and there we go i think we're pretty darn close i don't know if i should if i continue on i'd have to do this much more and it would just be way too big. Let's compare it to this block here that we've got done. This has our first row of edging on it though. But that's okay. I think we're going to be okay here. Put it right to about here. I think we're going to be okay. By the time we get our edging on both of them, I think this is going to be pretty good. So I would say repeat rows four through seven one and a half more times. You started with two popcorns here at the bottom of your square. You're going to want to make sure you end with two popcorns at the top of your square but also you want to end with a double crochet row and then you'll add your single crochet round for your edging you're ready for your edging and i'll put the uh i card for the tutorial right up here in the corner and that way you can add your edging to this and then there's just one more thing to do get yourself a little tag mark this block as block 37 the popcorn braid and you can put your edging on it and put this aside and it will be ready to add to the rest of your afghan once we're ready to put them all together. This was a challenging square, but it is a beautiful, beautiful square. I love the popcorns. I love the braids. I'm going to go ahead and get my tag on, get my border on, and I will see you next week for block 38 is the diagonal popcorn. So we'll be working more popcorns. So make sure that you are watching for whether you're right-handed or left-handed, how to work your popcorns so that they look beautiful for your blocks. Until I see you again, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.